Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt here, and welcome to the first video on how to script for custom zombies World at War on the PC. So then guys, throughout this series, I'm going to hopefully teach you guys how to script from the very, very basics of just putting text on screen um, and threading functions and things like that. Um, by the way, most of this right now that I'm telling you, you probably won't even know what I'm talking about unless you've done this already, but um, hopefully, you know. I'll be able to teach you that as we go along. So yeah, we'll be starting from things like that. And then as we go along, we'll be going to more complex things in which it may have a few bugs in it. And you know, like the coding might not work first time, but hey, that's, um, you know, that happens when you're coding and it doesn't always work first time. So yeah, um, these first these first couple of videos though will pretty much hopefully, hopefully always work first time. Uh, but as we get into the more complex things, you know, we might need to sort of solve a few errors if we have any but that's that's quite later on that so i'm presuming that everyone who's watching this um doesn't know how to script whatsoever now i know some people will do but i'm going to go off the presum the pres presumption presumption i can't say it, i don't know um yeah we'll presume basically that everyone cannot script um just so everyone um, who is watching it will be able to start from a complete beginner level and work their way up like that so then, first of all, we're going to be going over to this root directory in your maps folder. Now, you, in you call it or root directory, and you're going to be grabbing your map name.gsc. In this case, mine's YouTube.gsc, and that's just on your YouTube.gsc. So, and we're going to open that file up. Now, I extracted it to my desktop just because I have trouble sometimes saving files if they've been edited from the root directory. So I always, ex um, you know, move, move them over to my desktop or somewhere. At first and then we can move them back so first of all we need to add a line of script to this now go down to function calls this part here post underscore load and we're going to add a line of um, code here now what this is going to do is we're going to thread a function down here we'll actually make the function and what this function is going to do is appear appear i mean it's going to put some text up in the top left hand corner of your screen and you can make that say whatever you want we're going to make it say something like test or something like that and yeah that's pretty much the best way I can explain um, you know the very very basics um, of this so what we're going to do is do level thread that's going to thread this function within this G within this GSC file you can see up here it's .gsc it's a GSC file I'm going to call it tutorial test just like that Okay, you can call it whatever you like. This part here, you can call it whatever you like. Just remember what it's called, though. Um, these two brackets at the end, you, you need to make sure you have that and the semi and the semicolon at the end. Okay, you need to make sure you have all that. If you don't have that, it will not work. So then next, you can go up to up to. I mean, you can go down to the very, very bottom of this uh, coding sort of file thing, and uh, so this G, this GSC file, and you will add this. like that okay now what that's going to do is it's got up here it's got a thread tutorial test and tutorial test is currently being made down here so it's got a thread from up here down here and this down here this is called a function what, what we're going to currently make right now so it's going to thread this function down here so next you go go in, by the way you don't put uh, you see we've got this colon up here you don't put the colon at the end of this here because this is a function you don't need to put colons at the end of a function just like this only when you're threading it and when you're doing anything other than like you know you can see down here we've got um, these ones here as well um, I'll make that clear though as we go along so next you go do open bracket and close bracket like that oh, by the way I kind of forgot to mention um, I'm currently using sublime text editor and you can use pretty much whatever you want. A lot of people use Notepad. Um, you can, yeah. There's a lot of different ones out there. I personally use Sublime um, Text. You can see up here. And yeah, so that's just my personal preference. So then next, we've got to make the actual text appear on the screen. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do I print like that. I print ln open bracket speech marks, and then we're going to put test now whatever's inside these speech marks is what is what is actually going to appear on the screen okay and then you can put the colon at the end just like that okay so pretty much this is our function 
which within this function all it's going to do is put the um, word test um, up here in the top left corner of the screen when the map loads so also when, when the map is loaded and yeah so we've, we've threaded it and this is what's just been threaded so that's pretty much it guys for this video um, if you need any help understanding any of this make sure you do let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you that way and um, pretty much all the, all the rest of all this code um, you can kind of ignore at the moment because it doesn't mean anything significant yeah, significant to us right now so you guys that's how to make text up here on the screen hopefully this helped and uh, thanks for the support as always guys and I'll see you guys later see ya